Hello YouTube and in today's video I'm going to talk about why you should declutter your space and how you can go about doing it. So there are three big reasons why you should declutter your space. The first one is it can make your life easier. The second one it's good for your mental health and the last reason is that it can help you achieve your goals. Now how can it make your life easier? Well if you have a clean space, you can find what you need when you need it. For instance, have you ever misplaced your phone or your keys? It'll make it so much easier to find those things when you need them. The second reason is it takes a lot less time to make those small decisions. And what I mean by that is trying to figure out what to wear. If you know that everything in your closet fits you and looks great, it's gonna be so much easier to make that decision. Or if you have to figure out what you need to take on a trip, you know exactly where those items are and you can, for instance, quickly pack a cooler and get ready to go. And that brings me to the, my third point is if you can find what you need and if you can make those small decisions faster, then you can get ready to get on with your day or go out somewhere faster. And that can make your life a whole lot easier. Second reason is it's good for your mental health. And if you have a clear space that's clutter free and organized, it's it's going to make you feel calm and it'll boost your mood. Think about it. If you walk into a space that's all cluttered and you kind of have to walk over things or move things around to get to something, it causes a lot of unnecessary stress. Whereas if you walk into a room and it's clean and organized, it's going to make you feel a lot better. The second reason why it's good for your mental health is by clearing your space, it allows you to let go of the past and you can sort through things and you can just let go of things that aren't serving you anymore. And that'll allow you to better focus on where you are right now and where you want to go in your life. And it'll help you make room in your life and your physical space for those things to show up. And the last reason why it's good for your mental health is it helps you have a better sleep because if you have a clean space, you, like I mentioned before, you just have a lot less unnecessary stress and frustration in your life and that'll lead to a, a better sleep. The last thing is it can help you achieve your goals and it can do this in three ways. The first way is it can improve your concentration. When you have a clean space, there's actually a study that was done by Princeton U uh, Princeton University, there were some neuroscientists neuroscien that studied this and what they did was they had a bunch of students, half of them had cluttered desks and the other half didn't. And they found that if you have physical clutter in your life, it competes for your attention and that results in decreased performance and increased stress because basically there's all this unnecessary multitasking that you're doing. You're constantly fighting with your space to actually do what you need to. And the second reason is it increases your creativity. I mean, think about it. If you have a cluttered space, it's cramped and you can't really think straight. I know that a lot of artists and stuff might like to have cluttered spaces, but for the majority of us, if you have an open space, then there's just a lot more room for your brain to just kind of float and think about things and go off on tangents, and that can help you in achieve your goals and just get into that, that zone. And the third reason is it helps you clearly focus on your goals because I know a lot of us try to, and a lot of coaches, they really stress on having little reminders or tricks that'll help you do the things that you should do. Uh, for instance, if you need to stretch and you put a yoga mat kind of close to where you're working, then it should remind you to stretch. But then oftentimes if we have reminders like you know, alarms or 
piece of paper that will remind us to do things, we see those reminders, but we don't actually do that thing. And then it just becomes a reminder of all the things that we should be doing, but we aren't doing, which all of a sudden makes it so that it it mentally makes it hard for us to to feel like we can accomplish things and move forward. So if you clutter all, like clear away everything that you should be doing and instead just have a clean space so you can actually start making conscious advances in your path to achieving your goals. So if you've had a yoga mat for let's say five years and it's been sitting there and reminding you to stretch but you haven't stretched like either get rid of the yoga mat or move it somewhere else so you have that clean space to do whatever it is you're working on. Um, if you, let's say, have a pair of pants that you've been trying to fit into for years and you still don't fit into them and like it might just be a good idea to just get rid of them and maybe that'll remove mental obstacles and mental pressure on you so you can actually focus on living a healthy lifestyle and eventually you'll be whatever size you originally wanted to be. So those are the, I guess, three big categories and some reasons behind it. It can make your life easier, it's good for your mental health, and it can help you achieve your goals. Now I'm going to talk about how you can go about decluttering your space. So the first thing you can do is when you're evaluating what you have in your space to have three categories or three buckets. You have your yes, your maybe, and your no pile. The first bucket being this is stuff that like I just I don't need anymore, like let's get rid of it. So first bucket is get rid of it. Second bucket is I'm really not sure. Like maybe this is something that could be beneficial. I'm not quite ready to let go of it and I might actually need to use it at some point. So have a maybe pile. And then obviously the third pile is I really need this in my life. I use it every day or it just, it adds to my well-being. And what you do with your maybe pile is you put it away somewhere. And whether it's a couple weeks or a year even, and then you take out those things. And if you haven't used them, that's when you reevaluate again. And slowly you'll find that your no pile will improve and it'll be a lot easier to figure out what you use and what you don't use. And your maybe pile will shrink over time. And I've been practicing this for a few years now. And what I found is that it sometimes, like it used to take me like a year to put away the maybes and then reevaluate them. But now I've got it down to like a couple days where you know, there will be some things that I'll just get to and I'll be like, you know what, I don't know if I can use this or not. I'm going to put it away. I'm going to think on it for a few days and then I'll make a decision. And I can tell you that there's never been something that I've given away that I've regretted. Like, I, I always feel like whatever's left in my space, I use it 100% of the time or most of the time or it's super useful or important to me. And the rest of the things that I've given away have been fine. And my maybes usually I end up giving away. Not always, but usually. And the so organizing what you're going to toss, keep, and think about is the first big step. And the reason why I have those three categories is because sometimes people will start thinking about organizing their space or they want to organize their space and then they find that one thing and they're they're stuck on whether or not they should or should not get rid of it and then it kind of it deters from the actual process and usually it makes it very difficult to keep going through a room or a space in your in your place so once you do those then you've you've organized it. the second thing is with the stuff that you're keeping my aunt actually, I don't know where she got it from, but she read this this organizational book and she said something and it's just always stuck with me. And that's everything in your space should have a home, like a place where it resides. 
and each thing can only have one home. Do you get that? So everything needs a home and each thing can only have one home. That means that if you store your lunch bag somewhere, that's where it lives. It, when you're done with it, put it back there. If you have a water bottle or a cell phone or something, you're always putting it in the same space. And that way it makes your whole life easier because you can find what you need when you need it. You can quickly make small decisions like figuring out what you're gonna wear. You're not scrounging around for things. You can get ready to go out faster. You feel calm because you know exactly where everything is and and you can focus on achieving your goals. So those are those are the two big clutter free tips I have for you and I hope that you'll use this these ideas and start to spend whatever free time you have decluttering your space and really preparing yourself for what you're working on currently and what you're going to be working on in the future.